Video games date back as far as the 1950s, but for the first time, we've begun to embrace them for more than just entertainment. Educators have started reshaping video games to help students finding innovative ways to teach. As technology has improved, so has its popularity and potential with our generation. So how can this new medium revolutionize the future of education for students? My name is Jacob Klein. I'm the co-founder and the CEO of Motion Math. We're creating games to teach important math concepts aimed toward kindergarten through sixth graders. I think video games could be a really important part of education in the future. I don't think they're going to replace the classroom, replace a good teacher, but there are many concepts that can be explored in a video game, and games have some very special properties for learning. My name is Lisette Dietrich Montgomery. I work at Ubisoft in San Francisco. I am an art director, artist manager. You know, most forms of storytelling are passive, like you sit and watch a movie or you sit and read a book. But, you know, games are actually, you interact with the world and you interact with the story as it happens as you play. So I think it's a really powerful form of storytelling. What if video games could revolutionize education? A lot of people think that video games are a waste of time or are a distraction. Many skills that are difficult to learn are now more accessible through the advances in video game technology. VR and, and AR, so virtual reality and alternate reality, are starting to form a new medium or genre of games. So if you use alternative reality in a classroom, for example, you can show someone how to interact with their environment. If you were a medical student and you were learning how to do a surgery, you may be able to put on like a Google Glass or a HoloLens and actually like see the steps that you're supposed to do before you actually do it. There are several games that are actually built so that you can modify them. A few years ago, Little Big Planet came out with a simulator where you can build your own levels. Most recently, Minecraft introduced a coding component to their Minecraft developer. So you can actually use Minecraft to learn coding skills. It's all about the design. You could waste an entire semester of time just playing Minecraft, not really asking important questions about it. You also have seen people create working calculators in Minecraft, creating incredible recreations of historical structures. So that's a really great use of Minecraft educationally. It's, it's really about um, the details of the implementation. I don't think video games will replace the classroom. I think they will support the classroom. There will be no substitute for a great teacher. But I do think that games can assist that teacher in helping engage their students and improve learning. Imagine a future in which anyone in the world has a classroom at their fingertips. Imagine learning not being limited by physical resources. Imagine knowledge being discovered and not dictated. Though video games in the past have been seen as a distraction and interference on mental health and productivity, video games can now be seen in a new light. An excellent way to enhance and expand the material and techniques used when teaching. These advances should be made universal.